Hey guys, what's up? Back today with another video. In today's video, I'm here at Lake Pleasant. The conditions can be any better. The sun is out. We got a slight breeze on the water. The water is nice and calm, nice and clear. I really think we're going to get on some good fish today. I'm really not going to be throwing a whole lot of different lures today. I'm mainly going to stick to maybe two or three different types of lures. I'm going to be throwing the jerk bait for sure, spinner bait, and probably a finesse type lure on my spinning tackle. Um, I was here about a week ago. I did really good. I, I killed it on the jerk bait. I, unfortunately, I did not get it on film, so I couldn't show you guys that clip. But hopefully today I can reenact that with the jerk bait. I got a whole new line of jerk baits that I'm that I bought and I'm going to use. So let's get on the water. Let's get fishing. <laughs> All right guys, so I pulled up to the first spot here. All I'm throwing to start off is just the spinner bait here. It's got a little red belly, a shad looking head. I got a grub fire tail. I believe that's a Cabela's brand there. And very important, have a trailer hook. That's very, very important. You know, it's this water is pretty clear, so I don't need to go with like the big Colorados or dark colors. I just got a willow leaf here. It's beveled to give it a little bit more vibration. And then I got a small Colorado on there to give it that little extra thump. So I'm gonna start throwing this around and see what we can get. So I know there's some trees around here and all I'm trying to do here is get is I'm trying to get the spinner bait up by those trees and I'm just going to slowly roll it past them here. So right now I'm fishing off a point. There's a point right over here and it's just slowly sloping down and I'm just kind of throwing it perpendicular to that point. I'm bringing it on the deep end of the point there. See if there's any fish over there because I know there's some shrub, shrub trees over there. And how I'm fishing this spinnerbait, guys, is I'm just reeling it in real slow. I'm not, I'm not burning it by any means here. You know, it's still pretty cold. It's we're kind of hitting a cold front right now, so it's really no point in just burning a spinnerbait. It's just going to rip it right past them. They won't even think about it. So I'm just kind of creeping it real slow. I mean, this is a seven to one gear ratio, so one turn can reel in a pretty good amount of line. You know, I'm trying to get as as close to some trees as I can because that's that's where I've been catching them. They're right next to these trees here, so. So as far as as far as what I'm throwing it on here, I got a medium heavy action rod here. I got the seven to one gear ratio reel, and then I'm throwing it on 12 pound P line. You know this P line kind of has that that it's that flora clear 12 pound. The diameter is pretty thick, and I kind of like that because when you're thrown in trees like this, you're gonna get your line is gonna get frayed a lot, and since it's got that thicker diameter, it'll kind of the nicks won't cut into the line as deep as it would a thinner diameter line. Therefore, your line will last a little bit longer. Of course, always retie once you get nicks in your line. But just in case you do get that heavy tree that really nicks your line up and then you hook onto a fish, it's you got a less chance of breaking off because that line is a little thicker. Sitting about 10 feet of water. I'm throwing up onto a shelf. That shelf there might maybe three to six feet of water right there. I'm just throwing it up and I'm bringing it down the shelf there. And a lot of times they'll sit right where the shelf ends. Well guys, I fished about all day. I haven't gotten a single bite. Dylan got here about an hour ago. And I think the fish are starting to finally pick up. So I switched to a jerk bait. Last you saw I was using a spinner bait. I threw another jerk bait as a Rick Juan one, got it snagged in tree, broke it off. So now I'm throwing a Cabela's brand. It's the Mean Eye, the Mean Eye Shad or jerk bait or something like that. So give that a try. I'm just watching my fish finder to see where these fish are. He got a bite. So we're thinking they're right around in here. So with this wind, I mean, it's not blowing very hard now but before it's blowing and I was pushing the boat so much that it was hard to keep in one spot so what we're doing is we're headed up the shoreline and letting the wind just kind of blow us down and we're just fishing at the shore here just threw a bunch of trees there get, get out of the tree this is about the time I started catching them last time so I'm hoping 
that they come out again. There's Dylan. Why, you just spooked him with your 150 in the back. Oh, Dylan got into some fish. Striper, I'm coming for ya. Ooh, that wind is bad. They're right here, huh? Oh yeah, I'm getting some kind of, some darting marks and stuff. Down about 20 feet. Uh, sun, it's gonna go away and it's gonna be cold. Yeah. Oh, got one. Yep. Yep. Is it a white bass? Is that a white bass? A white bass. Yeah. First one of the year. Oh, you're not done. Yeah, he's a good size. I know, what the heck? Well, I'm now I'm gonna need my pliers. He got himself pretty good. My first fish of the day. A little white bass, that is sweet. That is cool. Is there a shad hanging out of his belly or anything? No. Nope. Look at that. Like a little white bass. I didn't make a video where I didn't catch a fish today. Yeah, he hit it like just like four feet off the boat. It is cold. Oh, got one again. Yep. Yeah, it might be a large mouth. It's fighting like one. Uh, it is a large mouth. Oh, oh, stay down. He's a good dude. Oh, popped off. he popped off. Don't tell me he bent the hook out. Nope. Wow. <sighs> Dang it. God dang it, that sucked. Seeing anything out there? Got another one. Yep. Another large mouth. He's a good one too. Oh, I barely hooked him, guys. Oh, I barely hooked him. 
Oh, he just came off just like that. Whew. Wow. There's another one, guys. Boom, another largey. Yes. Their eyes are so brown, dude. Look at this. His eyes are beautifully brown. Look at that fish. That is beautiful, beautiful fish. We're going to let him go. Oh, come on. There he goes. Woo. Yes. Jerkbait bass. All I'm doing, guys, is I'm coming up. There's kind of like these, they're not quite flat. So they, they, it's like a drop off right off the shore. And then it kind of goes to a gradual flat and there's trees on these flats. And I guess I'm just cat, I mean, I'm just trying to cast next to the trees because these bass seem to be holding to the trees pretty tight. Man, I'm just getting him on that last treble every time. I literally had him hooked by the skin of his lip. He was barely.